Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this vi. Is Days of Our Lives Fiona, Serena Scott Thomas, leaving? No way back Days of Our Lives just ensured a character's exit and set up a pairing we're actually excited about. All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. The week started off a bit rough as we got an entire episode dedicated to body and soul, but genuine drama and powerful performances pulled days of our lives out of the slump as the fallout of both Gabby and Fiona's actions ripple outward. Ock, so that answers the question of whether Fiona would actually resort to murder if she got desperate enough. Somebody or someone has got to stop her. I'm guessing without realizing it. Oh, darling, I was just fluffing Sarah's pillow. But that doesn't mean she won't try again. Either way, I can't help but wonder how long Fiona will be sticking around. There's no way this can end with anything other than her going to jail and Serena Scott Thomas leaving. Which is a shame, because while I figured this wouldn't be long term, she's such a fantastic addition. Just watch Fiona's face in the background during scenes as she subtly reacts to news of Brady and subtly tries to tamp down her reactions before snapping. But she hit Sarah, paralyzed her, framed Brady and now seems willing to commit murder. No one who does that lasts. And next week, Sarah's hitting the hypnosis with Marlena to remember more. So Fiona's eight are going to try again and get caught or Sarah's on the cusp of blowing her lies up. Either way, that's the end of Xander's mom, who I so wanted to like. Granted, I kind of still do thanks, in no small part to the performances. But she's been character assassinated too much at this point. Then again, tying this into her alcoholism. Though I'd argue her most egregious acts are all being committed while sober, there's still a chance to bring her back down the line redeemed somewhat. They just need to send her off to rehab and get her actual help. Is it just me, or does anyone else like Holly more now that she's living with her family? Her guilt over Sarah could be a transformative moment that keeps her from heading down her mom's troublemaking path. And that's a surprise, since when she was first aged into a teen. The show seemed determined to make her a mini Nicole. I'm still dumbfounded that Holly never knew what happened to her dad. Kids and teens are curious. She never once tried just Googling her dad's death. Everyone in her life knows, but it was never mentioned before. The drama with Eric and Tate should be good, but come on. Wow, I'm enjoying the Gabby slash Stefan slash EG stuff more than I thought I would. For a little while there, Gabby and Stefan were borderline insufferable as all they did was scheme in the most horrendous ways to get money and power. But while I still don't quite get why Gabby is being this destructive with EG of all people, I loved all their stuff this week. Stefan and Gabby's face-off as he realized she'd slept with his brother was visibly painful for both of them and clearly filled them with doubt and regret. They're stubborn people who lash out at those who hurt them and they may have taken it too far to come back even if they want to. Brandon Barish and Sherry Jimenez were just great this week. With that said, Gaby's anger at Stefan doing what she wanted and being so hurt he doesn't want to fight for them anymore seemed a bit misplaced. Um, look in the mirror, Gabby. Oh, and EG's faces and reactions to their fighting are still a blast. Now let's see if E. Jabby has as much promise as they seem. Ock, Abigail and Mark are siblings. Why are they doing this? She's feeling more and more remorseful after everyone she talks to, and he's looking after two kids, and most definitely doesn't need to be thrown in jail. What is going on? There's been a lot of talk of losing their parents to a car accident, so I've seen folks pondering if they're looking to get revenge for that. It looks like it may be up to Steve to figure it out. He's definitely suspicious, between the DNA comment and Stephanie's revelation that Abigail lied about talking to Kayla. Speaking of which, Kayla's shrugging that lie-off seemed a bit too nonchalant, but throw in John's kidnapping, which everyone seems to have forgotten about, being tied to this somehow, I don't see how Stephen can't start digging.